Let us understand about plain weave today. This fabric is woven in plain weave where the vertical lines are the warp and these horizontal lines are the weft. As we have seen the, the vertical warp threads are called ends and the horizontal weft threads are called picks. Now in this plain weave we see a simple up and down interlacing. It's a very very balanced weave where both ends and picks that is warp and weft in interlace uniformly. In this diagram we have drawn vertical threads that are the warp ends and the horizontal threads which are the weft the picks. Now if you see they interlace uniformly at every interval. We call this one up one down which means that the warp end the first brown warp it goes up travels over the weft then travels under it and then comes over again and then goes under it then goes over again in the same way if you look at the weft the picks it goes under the first warp end then goes over the second warp end again goes under and then comes over so that's where we call it one up one down one up one down let us plot this weave on a graph for this purpose i have drawn a hand drawn grid you can also use graph paper let us first number the picks so if you have this is pick number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 which means you weave, you have your static vertical warp ends and then you insert your weft end. Now how would you plot this on a graph paper? The first pick goes under the warp, first warp end then it goes over which where the second end is not seen it gets hidden by the weft so that remains blank again the third warp end is seen and you plot it here again here the first pig goes over the warp and then again goes under and it it is here that the warp end is seen again so where there's a where it gets hidden by the weft you leave a blank and where it is again visible the warp you put a cross mark here which suggests that this is the warp end so if you look at the how to this is how we see how this weft pick traveling in the horizontal manner so wherever you see the warp end visible we make a cross mark now that's the way the first pick travels if we have to plot how the first end travels so here it's on the top so we put a cross mark then in the second pick it goes under so this here is the second pick and it's going under which means the warp end is not visible so we leave a blank in the third pick it's visible again in the fourth it's not visible so we leave a blank and in the fifth it's visible again so this is how we call the plane weave one up one down if you look at the second warp end it goes under so it's a blank because we don't see the warp end here so we've left a blank in the second pick it's visible so you put a cross mark in the third it again goes under and in the fourth it comes on the top so this is how we plot our plain weave where it's one up one down so you find a diagram of alternate cross marks
After understanding the basics of plane weave in this diagram and plotting it on the graph here, we will now try to understand by weaving paper strips. I have two colors cut here. I am using the white for the weft and I have stuck around 10 strips of dark brown paper, magazine paper and these are my warp. So I've already stuck them here. So this is my static warp of 10 strips. I've cut them of half inch width. You can cut them of any, any width you like. But they have to be consistently uniform. And I will be using the white weft for weaving it. So let us look at first the first pick here in this diagram. We'll be using our graph as our reference point for weaving it with paper. So our first pick here it shows that our warp is exposed on the first end then it is covered by the weft then it is exposed again and then it's covered again so which means our first pick goes under the warp then over then under and then over. So that's how we will do we will take our first pick so we have our warp showing up so we'll have it going up then it goes under the second end then over then under over under over. so here I have my first pick and if you look into the diagram, the graph, you have your first brown warp end, which is here. Then you have a blank, then you have a brown, and then blank again, and then brown. So this is how your first pick goes. Let's take the second pick. Now in the second pick, the first warp end is covered by the weft, which means the second pick is going over the first warp end then under the second warp end then over the third under the fourth over the fifth under the sixth so I have it starts with the first blank so I have my first white weft exposed then under over under So this is my second pick. So this is what we repeat again. So plain weave is fairly simpler, very balanced. It uniformly interlaces at each step. Now in my third pick, again the brown warp is seen. So I, oh, I pick up the brown warp, the first end and then the second end is covered by the weft, the third end is visible, the fourth end is covered by the weft, fifth end is visible. So we are inserting our picks to create this plain weave. I have used distinctly white and black magazine paper to give you a clear picture of how the weave looks you can use any other color that you like but please make sure that your warp and weft is distinctly different so that you can see how the weave structures emerge and I'll put my fourth pick and you can keep weaving this is to understand the basic weave structure.